make this film at all. It wasn't my idea. I didn't know anything about it. And I had this new idea I wanted to do. And Sheila Nevins, who had visited the Abbey of Regina Laudis when she was in college, went there and I think all these decades wanted to make a film about the Abbey of Regina Laudis and Dolores Hart. So when she suggested it to me, I said, I did my nun film. It was Sister Helen. I'm done with nuns. My mother was a nun for 10 years. I don't want to be around nuns anymore. Had it. And she goes, just go and meet her. And I went, no. And she goes, just go. What are you afraid of? And I was like, I'm not afraid of nothing. <laughs> All right, so I went up there. And then as soon as we saw and experienced the Abbey, that's when the inspiration came. Because this place is a jewel. It's like no other Abbey, I believe, in the country. And Mother Priors' personality, her story, but yet the place itself was really a transcendent experience. And that's when the inspiration came, once we really went there and met them. Then I really wanted to make it. What did you think? Um, uh, yes, of course, I would agree with Rebecca completely. The first time we went up to the Abbey together, we decided that we would attend. They pray seven times a day. So we decided we would attend all of the prayers. And it was December. And it was about 20 degrees below zero. And Rebecca and I are rolling out of bed at like 4 in the morning yeah. to cross this little field and go up a little path and go in this tiny dark little chapel to sit and listen to the nuns do prayers. And I have to say, it was the most amazing experience. And as we got closer to the nuns, they became more generous with giving us access to their life and their thoughts and their spirituality to the point where we were actually sitting, and they're cloistered, so you're really not supposed to be inside the cloister. And they did us this amazing, they gave us this amazing gift by letting us actually sit in the pews with them and they Gregorian chant. So you're surrounded by this music that is so transcendent, as Rebecca said, and so beautiful. And we feel quite honored that they allowed us so much access into their lives. 